Hey everybody, happy Monday. Uh, today is the beginning of June and it's the time of year that we trim back rhododendrons and azaleas. They've just finished blooming. You can see the old blossoms here quite unsightly. Uh, we'll trim back about 10% of the plant, uh, which is about how much they grow per year. Now right now this is really bolting, so if I ignored it, it would be out here in no time. Uh, so. This is the time you trim it back, then it has the whole year to prepare for flowering next year. If you trim them in the fall, then you may, you most likely won't get any flowers next year at all. So now is the time to prune them and they love it. They react well to pruning uh, at this time of year and they'll be thicker next year. Okay, so first of all, a little WD-40 on the shears. There we go. I should be a salesperson for WD-40. Now, uh, this is one of the most dangerous tools you have in your arsenal. <clears throat> and that's because this motion is very hard on your elbows. And uh, you can get tennis elbow, repetitive stress disorder, whatever you want to call it, it hurts. Okay, I can feel it right now from a job I did a couple days ago. Uh, right there just in mm. so when you use the shears don't press in like that okay instead let the blades do the job let them do all the cutting let the weight of the blade do the work See, I'm bearing down on it. As soon as you bear down on it, you hurt your elbows. Remember, let the blade do the work. Some of these cuts should be done with loppers. And I'm too lazy to walk the 12 feet to get them. Because I want to just finish the video. All right, I think that's about it. This is also the only this is the last time of the year that you feed rotos, and rotos require a lot of food right after they bloom. And I'm talking about a full cup of food for this big a roto, and this size maybe half a cup, uh, all around the root base, which are small. The root of rhododendron is small, so sprinkle your food just this far away from the trunk, and you'll like it a lot. Then do it again next spring just as it's starting to uh, uh, go into bud. Okay, so early spring and then after they bloom, that's it for the year. Uh, okay. some Daphne along the bottom, which are weeds, but they smell nice. They do spread.
really see from your perspective. Uh, oh, we got pea sticking out right here. You should have told me. A little more open passage through here. Uh, whew. My elbow's gonna hurt tomorrow. My voice is cracked. All right. See you soon. So, as you can see, this rhododendron has been allowed to grow out across the lawn for 20 years, maybe? And so that's unsightly, as you can see. Um, but we wait until the rhodos finish blooming before we do things like this. So it's done, and we're going to cut it way back and allow this stuff up here to get more energy from the plant. Because this is sucking all the life out of this beautiful roto that's kind of crowded. So here we go. of it. What do you think? Looks a little better? Ha! Alright. One roto cut up. 